Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about bevel gears. Um, bevel gears uh, have slightly different geometry from what we've uh, been looking at with spur gears and helical gears in that uh, the actual face of the gear itself where the teeth are is, is at an angle. And uh, on the drawing that I'm, I've started here, you can see that the uh, angle that gives that orientation is labeled gamma. And we have a face width of those teeth of B, just like we've seen before, but now noted that it just measures a little differently. So I've only drawn one gear in what would be, you know, a mating pair in a gear set. On this gear, we have our similar forces. We have an axial force like we've seen before. We have a radial force. Uh, and now we're adding in what we'll call a normal force, which is basically normal to that um, surface where the gears are, or gear teeth are located. Of course, we would also have our transmission force, but in this case, our transmission force is perpendicular to the page. So I'm not drawing it out here, um, but it's coming into and out of the screen um, as we're looking at it. We still have a pressure angle phi, generally around 20 degrees as a standard for that. I've also labeled some diameters here. One being this outer diameter, which would be measured at the largest overall size of the, the gear. Uh, and then the diameter that we'll end up using for a lot of our um, analysis, which is the average diameter. The average diameter being somewhere in the middle here um, between this, this smaller inner diameter and this larger outer diameter on the bevel gear. So that average diameter we can quantify by saying it's equal to that outer diameter minus the face width times sine gamma. So that's just the projection of the face width onto that, that coordinate direction. And if we were looking at a mating gear pair here, we might be interested in the gear ratio, and I want to write that down quick. And that is omega p in ratio to, to omega g, so that's just like we've seen before, the pinion and the gear. And we can relate that to the number of gear teeth on the gear and the pinion, the diameter. Uh, we can also even relate it to the angle, um, in this case, the, the bevel angle, which is kind of interesting, of the gear or of the pinion, where we have the cotangent of the pinion. All right, so when it comes to looking at our analysis that we're interested in, we want to do a force analysis usually. Uh, typically, the first thing we would need is a pitch line velocity if we want to look at the relationship between force transmission, uh, the transmitted force, and the power. And so just making a note as a reminder of what we've seen before, that we can write pitch line velocity in terms of that average diameter, pi d average times n, n being rotational velocity. Then we can write the transmission force, much as we've seen it before, in terms of power and velocity. Now, of course, this 33,000 um, value in there is a uh, English unit system you know, conversion going on. So now, again, kind of working from that transmission force, we can write some of our other forces that we have. We have the normal force that we've just described here, the axial force, which I could write in terms of the normal force, and then also, of course, in terms of this transmission force. and the radial force. Like that. So 
we've got these various forces that we, we might wanna make use of. And now actually, in terms of stress, our equation hasn't really changed much. So I'll just kind of, for iterative purposes, write that down again. And the main difference here is now we're going to pull J from figure 16.13. So we've got a new, another new figure um, in order for finding that geometry factor. And then we're going to pull this mounting factor from table 16.1. So this is a new, a new source for the mounting factor. Other than that, nothing else has really changed in terms of how we would analyze the system. We've got a little bit of new geometry. Uh, we've got a couple of new variables, but otherwise everything else is, is really very similar. All right, thanks.